Hey harmonizers, it's time for an update with Tom's treasure. So this is my little Palomino Mustang that I got started under saddle and then kind of went away to Florida for the winter and left her in the hands of my very capable students who have been doing an awesome job. And now this is me doing some long lining with Miss Tom's treasure. And I'm teaching Sarah, who is another student of mine, how to long line. And uh, Sarah's doing a co-op placement with me so you'll probably see some stuff with her over the next couple months and she's learning how to do long lining with Tom's treasure so uh, being a horse trainer is very different from being a good rider and one of the main things is that we want to make sure we set up these young horses these green horses up for success we don't want them having people get scared and fall off or anything like that so Natalie is just riding her at the walk just to help add some miles uh, hasn't done really any riding of green horses. She does ride Alicia and she's a very good rider and rides um, Khaleesi, but she hasn't done uh, riding green horses. So it's gonna be all new for her. So instead we're starting her off on the ground because long lining is a great way to get the horse to experience some more miles and comfortability with the reins steering left right canter work all that kind of stuff and so there's no need to even get on the horse's back like here I asked her to halt and you can see she's being a little bit bracy so I'm gonna hold the reins until she softens her head a little bit so when we're on their backs you know sometimes we want to be a little bit more cautious because um, if they do get spooked you know you might fall off on the ground it can be a little bit easier and so here I'm just making sure I teach treasure to soften and lower her posture and really give to those reins and try not to be so head up in the air or tossing at the reins or anything like that so I can play around with the steering here starting to get into some canter and doing um, some rollbacks where I'm starting to turn her into the wall and she's just learning to get soft and light off the cues and becoming less flighty and more responsive so you can see I'm starting to get that halt getting nice and light into the backup getting the turn starting to get the transitions into the canner uh, cueing her to do the whoa she's stopping pretty nicely backing just getting a lot lighter and responsive on her feet becoming a lot more giving through the cues and not so um, worried and, and rushed or anything like that so she's really getting a lot lighter and softer which is fantastic and all of that is through the long lining and then this is me actually riding miss uh, tom's treasure here so we are starting to put on a little bit more than walk which is exciting so ali had already done ali who's another student of mine she had already done some trotting on her and working up to full circles of trot and then now I am just going to come in and start to get more work happening of getting her softer and lighter in her body, get her more giving. And so that way she's not so um, bracing for those reins. So when I pick up the rein and I turn, I want her to think, hurry up and give to that pressure and not be upset by that. That's going to help her just in general. So I'm doing some of these more tighter turns and she kind of thinks you know poke her nose out and give me the rain and just let me do my thing and i'm kind of like i'll pick up the rain and then when she gets soft and light then i'll give it back and when she does something really nice i'll stop and i'll, I'll give her a cookie for it but uh, this is something just that takes a little bit more feel to know how much pressure to apply when to be soft i'm adding my inside leg a little bit and really it's just about getting her instead of tossing her nose out a little bit and kind of saying hey give my rein back like there see how she's kind of putting her nose out it's saying hey can you give so we even went right down to asking her to do some one rein bends i know this isn't the best angle but i'm just picking up a rein asking her to bend without moving her feet from side to side and just getting comfortable with giving her head so we practiced a little bit of that and then the goal of today's session is to just get into some trotting. I had never never ridden her at the trot before this session. So this is brand new and going to be our first trot together, which is pretty exciting. And then from there, just getting to do more trot steering with her, moving around, getting her to be more giving in her body and uh, not not argumentative or bracing about that 
rain pressure. Not that she was being, you know, really bad about it, but just asking her to get a little softer, like here backing up and making sure she softens her head in order to back up. And what I find with her is she feels really nice. She feels um, like it's awesome. Allie and Natalie have done a great job with her while I am away. And uh, she feels pretty solid in the sense that she's willing, she's trying, she doesn't feel upset by me on her back at all, which is great. I don't want to rush things while being on her back or push her to a point where she does feel upset. So I'm not going to just rush into the canter or something like that. I want to make sure it's super easy and smooth for her. First, we've got to do a fair bit of trotting and steering and just kind of moving around the ring. So we're doing some trotting here and uh, taking her around, gonna practice doing some steering at the trot. Allie had mostly just worked on some simple trot transitions and doing full trot circles is kind of where she got her to. So this is new for her doing, I'm gonna be moving her into some trot, steering tighter circles, turning and things like that. And you can see she's got her head up a little bit in the air. She kind of sticks her nose out a little bit. She kind of thinks that she should just be kind of left alone to do her own thing, which I do want to leave her alone and give her a nice loose rein. But I want to make sure that she's going to be giving to direction of where I'm asking her to go. Here, I just want her to um, catch up her right hip there as I'm asking her to back up. I want her to be kind of straight and giving. And I'm just asking her to be really soft in her her expressions are very soft to what I'm asking her to do and she feels like really lovely really trying really hard she feels really nice to sit on she's not as smooth as Elon but uh, she's pretty pretty nice to be on here starting to get into some of those trot circles making no changes of direction and just kind of steering around the stuff that's in the arena I love having visual cues for the horse so steering between these boxes around the bridges over the poles just really helps the horse to have those visual targets and put a little bit of a purpose to the things that i'm asking her to do you can see that halt and that backup is getting really soft and smooth she's um, very knowledgeable about what that means and, and very giving to that which is great so anytime she does stuff that's really awesome she's going to get lots of cookies throughout the ride here progressing a little bit into a bit more trot work we did um, we, we kept the session pretty short overall I would say she probably worked for about 30 minutes or so she is I believe four years old this year so she's you know young getting better with that attention span definitely ready to start doing more work but we also have to be careful not to do too much on her back because her back is not strong yet and so we, we don't want to do like an hour session on her back and cause her to become muscle sore because then she's going to be soured by the idea of riding so we do little little bits and kind of build up those muscles and that fitness level to be able to do that not that the trotting is hard work but just the act of like carrying me on her back and the saddle and everything um, is something that they have to work up to so here starting to trot in a different area and trotting around these different boxes to help give those visual aids of where I'm going. You can see mostly giving her a loose rein to let her go where she wants, or with her head I mean, and then steering with a kind of one rein at a time, slowing down there as she's trying to figure out the corners. And then I'm really just kind of encouraging her to keep trotting all the way. So I really want her to figure out how to move forward and do these turns and just by getting really soft and willing in her body being able to turn and and give as she's going along so after we did some of that trot work I decided to do venture into the other end of the arena and do a couple obstacles over there for the sake of kind of filming we I kept her mostly in the one end of the arena this end of the arena it was a bit windy outside too so the door was a bit spooky I apologize the camera being all over the place there that's Sarah holding the camera and then we had this um, noodles set up but I didn't want to ride her through it in case she was upset by it so I got off of her and we did it with um, her on the ground and practiced hitting them the last thing I wanted to do was take a really good ride and have her go through the noodles and get spooked by them running uh, or moving sorry and then have her run off with me and have a bad experience I thought we've had a lovely ride 
let's just get off, make sure it stays positive and build up her confidence. Here doing the little kiddie pool, which those can be a little bit tricky for them. And a lot of this uh, stuff is testament to the work that Allie and Natalie have been doing. So, so awesome that the girls have been progressing with her so much. And she, Treasure can be a little bit looky, like she cares about things sometimes. Like there, she kind of dragged the pool and was like, oh no, I dragged the pool. But overall, she seems to have a really level head about her. She, like she didn't run off to the other side of the arena when she did that. It wasn't terrifying that she couldn't do it again. Uh, she went through it just fine. So she seems to be, you know, really kind of smart in that aspect. She's not the bravest Mustang I've ever had. I don't know that anybody will ever compare to Kaibu. He was just the easiest Mustang that ever was. But she definitely is pretty awesome when it comes to these obstacles and seems to be pretty smart and willing to learn how to do these different things. So I'm pretty excited about that. She seems to be pretty handy and just a lot of fun to work with. So that's an update for Tom's treasure. You guys can let me know what you're most excited about seeing her progress with.